All right, well, hi, I'm Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, um, I wanna say, hey, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> All right, so in this video today, I'm actually going to be um, showing you guys what I've been personally. I, yeah, I purchased stuff. Um, but yeah, I haven't really done, actually, yeah, I really have not really kept up with doing videos on that. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what I um, got recently in the mail. I got this from Black Opal. <laughs> So, I love me some black opal. Um, I just, I do. Um, that's one thing I do tell my friends who are, you know, darker than me. But it really ain't just about darker. It's just women of color in general. Um, I feel like black opal has some of the best color selections for women of color, hands down. I don't know about black up. Um, I haven't tried them. And I don't know, for 40 some dollars, I don't know if I'm gonna try them anytime soon. Maybe when, you know, get more money coming in, I'll think about testing it out. But right now, I don't feel comfortable doing that unless, you know, they have some bomb, you know, oil-free foundation. I will invest in the foundation, but that's about it. All right, so I got a couple of items from here because quite honestly, I didn't feel like going on a, on a hunting mission. Sometimes I want to get out of the house and, you know, go somewhere and do something, but sometimes, you know, quite honestly, I don't. That's cute. They got a little black opal paper. That's cute. That's cute. I was waiting on this so I can um, test it out. It's a little tube of foundation. It is in Kalahari Sand in the Black Opal Even True Flawless Skin Liquid Makeup. Oh, wow. Wow. This looks like this is my skin color. I always get into testing it out because I've never gotten a chance to um, to purchase Kalahari sand in the store. At least I've never seen it. And uh, I'm... Next foundation on the list. I also got... Um, I wanted to add this color to my collection because they have a whole bunch of um, concealer sticks. and But these honestly really use that foundation so or to contour with anyway i just i i love that so on one hand got it it's in um beautiful bronze anyway i just thought this would be a nice contour shade um but like i said you can use any of these if you don't want to buy you know the full on you know full stick which is what i have here oh they put it in a box to keep it safe i love that Anyway, I ordered uh, two different colors. I ordered one in Kalahari Sand, and then the other one I ordered in Champagne Beige. And Champagne Beige is the much lighter color. And I love that they added on new colors um, because everybody's not, you know, there's different shades of, of, of color, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many different shades, and I'm so glad that they uh, stepped their game up. All right, so the next package I got is from e.l.f. Let's cut this bad boy open. I wanted to test out. That's what I just, maybe I could help it, but um, sometimes this stuff is inexpensive. You know, you want to test it out and see if it works. And I was about to run out of my, one of my favorite um, eyebrow products. So I thought I would test out something else. And this is by Eyelore. Uh, you can find it at Ulta. Anyway, I just, I love that product. And I wanted to try something else. I saw this one just came out and I thought I would give it a try from Elf and see um, if it's living up to the hype. Face by, um, by Elf, they are called what? Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. And I got both of these shades just to kind of blow up it and test it out. It's in light brown and medium brown. Cause I kind of wanted to just play on it and see maybe I can lighten up here and then darken up back there or something like that. I don't know, we'll see. Um, okay, so I got those two. I'll be testing them out in the video and showing you guys how um, it works. And let's see if it really lock and loads and lasts. All right, and then this other one I got is a smudge pot. Uh, it's in purple. I got a couple of other shades already um, that I actually like. To, I don't use them as eyeshadow base. I actually use them to highlight my cheeks. I know. They're um, these two colors here. 
It is Ain't That Sweet and Cruising Chick. And this one is called um, Poppin' Party. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. I love me some purple, if y'all didn't know. Yeah, so that's Poppin' Party. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do a swatch, I can't help myself. Uh, let me swatch the other two so you guys can see what those look like. This one is Cruising Chick. And then the last one is Ain't That Sweet. It's more, you know, like the pinky tone or whatever. Anyway, I just thought they're both really, really pretty. Um, maybe I should try using this eyeshadow base, huh? Well, I definitely use the purple for that. Um, the purple, oh, that's so pretty. Anyway, I love using cream bases, so especially for my eyes, I just, I just think they're easier. Then I got this. I've never tried this before from e.l.f. This is their waterproof eyeliner pen, and it's in purple. <laughs> Anyway, I just thought I would give this a try. It's supposed to be smudge-free, budge-free. Eyeliner lasts for hours. Fabulous and fresh precision. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yo, one streak. That bad boy is on. All right. Hmm. We'll see how long this lasts. I might have to give me a couple more. How much you can find a link to everything in the description bar below. I'll link everything down there. So you'll, see, you'll get to see the price and all that. That's nice. Oh my gosh. Let me make sure I do this. That's nice. That's like for that, you want a quick on the go funky look? I, yeah. I, mm. Okay. I'm excited about that. And I got one more item from them, which is one of their new brushes. Uh, this is called the, um, let me remove the plastic so you guys can see it. It's called the Selfie Ready Powder Blurring Brush. Did, I mean, really? I'm taking the selfie word to like new heights. All right, so it comes in this. Is it flat? Oh, it's got, wow. Is this kind of reminding me? Just a little, maybe, not really. Oh my gosh, this would be a really nice contour brush too. Cause see how it's rounded off like that? Um. I could definitely see this being a really nice contour brush. Selfie brush, huh? Um, apply product in a circular buffing motion all over skin for a flawless airbrush appearance. Um, the ultra fine synthetic fibers are hand cut, shaped, and assembled by artisans for expert craftsmanship. Um, can also be used with a cream blush. I can see that. Bronzer. I can see that highlight highlighter and or foundation so i could definitely see that especially like right here i could definitely see that like working that in i, I could definitely see that this is not bad i spent six dollars on this i do remember the price on this one um it was six bucks oh they don't have the little name on it usually they have the name on the brush i'm a little sad elf what's up with that i really do like it maybe they're trying to be like Larock. just put your name on it don't put that I kind of wanted to show you guys what I um, got recently in the mail. Oh my gosh. Ah! And I got this stuff from Namie's. And it's an online pro makeup store. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> it's all this foam. Let's see what came in. This box. <laughs> this bad boy finally got here. All right, so I have two of these in the mail, and I'm actually gonna be giving away one of these. Of course, this one's for me. So I'm gonna be giving away one of these, so one lucky winner will be able to follow their tutorial along with me when I'm doing tutorials using this new... I guess I can rip it, huh? Because this one's mine, I can rip it open. I'm gonna be using your new contour brush along with... So it comes with a booklet, and it says for more contouring tips and tutorials, see the Pro Contour Palette and visit LaRockCosmetics.com. It has that on the back. Um, on the inside, I guess it just has tips on there how for you to um, contour. Yeah, so I'm gonna be giving this pretty, pretty little baby away. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do a swatch. Not in this video though, sorry. Um, yeah, so it comes with a mirror and it comes with this and what's the other thing it comes with? I thought that was pretty freaking awesome. I don't know how great the brush is, but we're gonna find out. 
isn't this like the cutest little brush? Oh my gosh, I could definitely see you could um, apply this, like pat the um, color underneath here, especially if you have problems with creasing. I could definitely see using it for that and using it for here, maybe using it for there, there, there. there. But that's about it. I wouldn't do this all over the face because I think I, I watched a video tutorial on it um, by Carol, who is the uh, makeup artist who created Lorac. It's just Lorac spelled, it's Carol spelled backwards. It's, it's Lorac. Um, anyway, and yeah, no, I'm not going to use this all over my face though. But I will use this to contour, contour, you know, like the house of cheek. Like I said, should grind the nose and maybe under here. But that's pretty, that's pretty much all I'm gonna be using this for. Um, yeah. So I'm excited to announce that. And then not only that. So I didn't want one person to go away feeling like the winner for that. I found two more of these bad boys that I've included in these. I got them from TJ Maxx. Um, they're worth 30 bucks each on the, the website for Measurable Difference. So that is also included in this in this wonderful giveaway. So it's three, it's gonna be three lucky winners. Cause I want more than one person to win and to feel like they came out with something. So it's definitely this. Um, make sure to look in the description box below uh, for the rules. Uh, please make sure that you are 18. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable giving any young lady out there under the age of 18 makeup. I don't. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't. So make sure you're 18 to answer and follow the link and make sure to um, to enter your info into the raffle because it's going to randomly select someone. I'm not gonna manually do that. That's too much work. I'm sorry. Anyway, so that's it. Um, oh, of course, you know, make sure you follow the rest of the rules that's down there. All right, so let's continue moving. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Oh, and it has a little plastic thing too. I love, I keep these, I'm sorry. Cause what happens is the powder will transfer over to the mirror and the other side of the palette. I like to keep everything where it is. So with the little rock, I love that they do that. Um, yeah. um, I got this eyeshadow for Physicians Formula. Um, on the back, it does give you a little tip on how to use it. But quite frankly, when you purchase eyeshadows that are shimmery like this, I didn't get this to be please no over my eye. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to look like a disco ball. This is definitely more for um, applying to the lid and just kind of having different looks. Now, honestly, I thought this palette would be great, especially for the holidays coming up if you're going to a lot of holiday parties, because um, it has so much shimmer in it. I thought it would be perfect for the, like that pop up for that lid color because it has something for everyone. Um, uh, but like I said, if you're just going for a holiday look, it kind of just has that just that neutral look, especially if you're not a person crazy about too many wild colors. Um, I just think they're really, really pretty. Actually, I got two items from Neutrogena this month. I got the Neutrogena Skin Clearing because I wanted to use something to help me with this my acne issue I have going on right now from this uh, moisturizer I was using. It to my body. Um, this is in honey beige, and it's not my exact skin tone, but honestly, once you put the powder and the highlight and the contour powder on, you can't even tell. Like, it looks like my skin. So, I can't tell it's a smidge off, but it actually just it works out like perfectly. And then, of course, this one is in tan 80, and they do have the foundation in tan 80 as well, but I feel like it is a little bit too warm for my skin tone. And what I love about this is it comes with a little mirror and um, I don't probably won't use a sponge, but maybe. Anyway, I just think it's cute because I do need to start carrying around because I'm so oily. I do need to start carrying around some kind of little compact and I'm probably going to get a lighter color too because I use this more to set the rest of my face um, or just do like an overall if I want to bring the color back down to my skin tone because this is more my skin tone. Um, but I'm probably gonna get a lighter one just so I can set this area because I don't want it to tone it down too much. But set this area when I'm on the go because I do get oily. And once you put that foundation on once, it doesn't mean that it's gonna stay on the whole entire time. So you do kind of need to have touch-ups. And it's nice to have a little compact with a little mirror. You know, you can bring your own brush, whatever, um, and have that on hand with you. Yeah, so I also got some of these colors for myself. They're in the giveaway as well um, that I'm having right now for the Wet n Wild. This is headliner and this is superstar. The blush is either, for me, I feel like it's gonna either need to be a warm or neutral tone. It can't be like uh, like a, a pink undertone. I need it either to be neutral or warm toned. 
and I know now that's what my issue is after testing this new um where is it there it is after getting this new blush this is also something I just got a couple of days ago um, this is from Milani and this is Luminoso this is the first time I put on a sparkly type blush and I actually loved it I'm not a big sparkle person I, I'm as far as when it comes to like my blush um, or my contour color like if I'm contouring with a bronzer honestly I want it to be matte I don't want it to have shimmer and this is the first time using it this thing is like so warm such a warm warm tone and it really went off very pretty so I realized something else like dun 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 hello warm tones look nice on me that's why I don't like those other colors it needs to be a neutral nudie type color or something to that effect but I'm gonna show you what the elf shades look like and I just thought they were so fun like it's such a little fun pop of color and it's creamy and uh anyway yeah so I thought I would add that to my collection. I just think the creams just look so much more natural. It doesn't mean that these don't, you know, they're pretty. So anyway, I also got these two while I was at um, TJ Maxx. Uh, I found these two here. This one is a, a baked blush from e.l.f. And it is called Pinktastic. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll put all this, I'll link all this stuff down there in the box below. Um, thing ever and this is the cool thing about colors like these is they serve multiple purposes I love stuff that serve multiple purposes so I can use it not only as a blush well I kind of doubt I'll be using this as a blush but I'll be using this more as a highlight and it kind of same thing applies to highlight too like I don't want it to be too pink undertone I kind of want it to be close to me but you know we can use it for other purposes and so I'm just gonna swatch it real quick kind of show you guys what it looks like so if you're looking for an inexpensive an uh, inexpensive highlight get one of these out. and if you don't feel like it goes on like the way you want it to add some setting spray you know like rub the brush on it add some setting spray and then pop that little boy on this is a baked eyeshadow <clears throat> from elf <clears throat> And this one is in Enchanted. They had these, I was like, mm. I was like, let me give this a go. Let's talk about this real quick. Look at this color. Oh my gosh. Now that's perfect. This will make a beautiful, subtle blush, highlights um, on somebody who's warm toned. Um, not just warm tone, but think about it too. If it's warm tone and you're brown skin, Really, you already know it's gonna be pretty on you, cause you're not, cause brown skin, you I, wearing cool to pink, pink type tones is not. I I don't feel this for you. So, but that's just because that's me just looking at it from an artistic standpoint. If you're looking for highlight, you don't have to go spend forty dollars. I love the whole Becca experience. Yes, it is super pigmented. Yes, it is super soft. So it's easy for your brush to gather. But if you're also concerned about that, I would say. Look into buying um, for powders and stuff like that, which I'm starting to work on for my collection um, of brushes. Look for brushes that have real hair if you are dealing with powder and you want it to pick up the powder. Synthetics are perfect for cream products. I'm not saying they're not great for powder products. What I am saying is from my reading, what I'm learning so far is that real hair um, picks up powder better. So think about that uh, and see if that makes a difference in how your powders apply. But definitely try setting spray with it if you wanted to keep But that, that was enough. Yeah, that was a lot. Uh, next one. Uh, I've been what? <laughs> I should have been not tried this like a long, long time ago. Um, this one is by, by Hard Candy. Um, I've seen these and I'm like $9. I don't know if I'm going to spend it. But $9, look how big this thing is. For nine dollars this is like the palm of my hand this is you buy one from becca let me show you the name of it too all right this thing is supposed to be a bronzer um i'm like this thing is like the perfect shine for anybody my complexion or even deeper like if you want to look like if you it's your skin that's glowing and it's not the powder that you just onto your face that's glowing this is for you 
Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, unboxing and seeing some of the new stuff that I recently purchased uh, in this video. Uh, if you would like to get updates when I post up new videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're already subscribed, all I want to say is thank you. Thank you for taking your time to even want to watch my videos, comment, and to continue to follow me. I appreciate it. Um, anyway, be on the lookout. Like I said, look down there to find out all about the new giveaway that's going on along with the other giveaway. And um, good luck to you guys. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>